What is going on, guys? So I just want to um, redo the um, video like I did earlier. It's kind of shaky, so so I'm gonna do this again. So what I did here is that I made my own uh, Darwino uh, self ho homemade uh, Darwino sort of uh, development board. So if you compare the Darwino here, it's really um, little, so it's about half the size of the board I'm, I'm using right now. I'm, well, this one is using um, it's running on the uh, 80 mega 644PA, which is a 40 pin uh, AVR microcontroller, and this one is a 328P, so it's a 28 pins. So this one has two UART. Uh, this one has just a uh, single UART. I mean, this one just has uh, more pins and a little more features, and uh, just about twice the memory, flash memory. So you can actually write a very large program with this. Um, so if you notice here, I have mount on um, a power supplied, and I got this off eBay, and you can buy one on eBay for uh, four dollars. That's including shipping. So I definitely recommend getting one of these uh, power supply. So um, all I have to do is you know plug in the nine volts battery and you're good to go. So let's have a look at the bottom surface of my PCB here. Notice how I made the uh, texture engraving here. It's kind of like the we know how they have the uh, texture here too. So that that was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of my friends uh, like that feature. So here I have the six uh, hex standoffs or spacers, and that's really sturdy. I also have a onboard uh, um, two colors uh, LD for debugging purposes. Uh, I have made a um, connection uh, ground switch so that I can just um, make this an open circuit so that. This uh, this will not go to ground, so that I can actually use the two um, I/O pin that is uh, dedicated for this uh, debugging LED for just general I/O uh, use. So I can just um, switch this to open circuit, and this won't affect me in my program. And let's see what else. Um, right now, I'm currently trying to work on a uh, shield, um, an RF transceiver shield, for my uh, uh, development board, kind of like the Arduino shield. So I was thinking of maybe just uh, mounting on one of these uh, transceivers that I bought from Shure Electronics for fifteen dollars. So that would go directly to the serial line. This is a um, a serial transceiver, by the way. It has the RXTX and it runs on uh, either 3.3 volts or 5 volts. And I, I can um, power it up using uh, either uh, power sources from this um, power supply. It has 3, 3 volts and 5 volts. If, you, if I use the 5 volts, I can actu actually transmit this over a very uh, long distance. So, okay. So, I just kind of connect the one of the UARTs here. To directly to the um, RX or TX line for my uh, RF transceiver, and over my computer COM port, I will have a, another PCB that I'm uh, actually uh, designing right now. So it'll be a uh, USB to TTL bridge here, or a USB to TTL converter, and it's connected connected to a second transceiver on this side. So I can actually communicate directly to my P, uh, laptop here. So I have, let, let me open my Ego file here and I'll show you the PCB uh, CAD layout. So this is uh, very small, it's about uh, one uh, inches square uh, in area. And here is a footprint. All right. So I haven't shown you guys actually the test program that I programmed to this chip. Basically, it's just flashed the LED at uh, a very varying uh, delay time. So, yep. 
So this has two different colors, but whenever you turn on two of the uh, pins, it becomes uh, orange, so it would be like a third color. Yep, uh, just very excited about what I can actually do with this uh, homemade development board. Most likely uh, I can do a bunch of shills here. Maybe uh, a, a 9 degree of freedom uh, sensor board from eBay. That's on its way actually. I just recently bought one for around $35. Alright, um, I guess this is it. Uh, well, here. Uh, I have also a, a GPS I bought a long time ago. I was thinking about using this for one of the shields. So this is uh, has a serial output too. So yeah, that's and here I have a compass sensor. There's a lot of sensors I want to put on my shield, but I I was just gonna work on the RF transceiver for now. Oh, there you go. There's the orange light I was talking about. Oh, alright, uh, I guess this video is getting long, so I'll end here. Thanks for watching.